Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Vagante. Still trying to get that hard mode win, win, but you know what? Why don't we go for, uh, Mage? We've done Wildling, we've done Rogue, Knight's probably next, but let's try a Mage run. As for the starting background, what's experienced? Minus three luck? No, Bookworm, yeah. Yeah, plus one spellbook starting level. <sighs> one strength and one dex. I don't think matters nearly as much as starting spells higher level, because you get more ca casts of them and they're stronger. So let's go for Bookworm Mage. Well, no, that is, uh, there we go. Select my outfit. And let's try a hard mode run. We have the Magic Rod, and we know we're going to have the opportunity to go into rods. We have Eloquence as our starting spell, and Frost Nova. And our damage is freaking just god-awful, but we knew that going into this run. Just dump those over there, pick them up in a second. Scroll, 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 scroll. Alchemy Spellcaster. Enables complete movement control while casting spells. Enchant's pretty good. Rod is really good. I've, I think I've learned that Rod can be exceptionally useful. Rod, however, is melee, and we do have minus strength and dexterity. But the Rod is how we do damage, and it's not really the physical damage of the Rod, it's the effect of the Rod. It's the fact that the Rod has a uh, magical spell associated with it. Going down. I like that very difficult to hear bloop bloop sound whenever a uh, a blob blobs. Bloop bloop. Just very weak and hard to hear, and it sounds so good. There's a little bit of water down there. I guess maybe. Uh, okay. We could fight the dragon here. Potentially. Um, is there anything here on the left? I don't know. Let's fight the dragon. There's a. Uh, there's probably enough water here to be good. I feel like. His fireballs still hit if there's not enough water level, but you don't burn. So we took 30 damage there, which is honestly not too bad. You expect to take some, of course. Well, you hope to not take any, but you're probably going to take some. Vengeful Familiar minus one speed. Got the key. Oh! Jesus! this guy. <laughs> I don't actually hate him. He's not too bad. I don't know why I'm doing Rod instead of just smacking him with Eloquence. Okay. Get the chest. I think I am going to do a little bit of backtracking, though, because there's a lot of level that we missed. And I don't even have the scroll book for the level, the spell book. Super speed. Slow aura. We'll take everything. Except for the potions, because we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to get alchemy pretty soon. Come you don't all, I guess with rods, you don't always get a charge when you hit an enemy. That's why I was doing so little damage. Oh God, against the uh, boss there because I wasn't, char I wasn't getting all my charges whenever I hit the enemy. Oh my God, just stop bouncing on his head. I don't want to move, because I move freaking fast. Hey, come here. Let me hit you with this barrel. I almost hit myself with it. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta take off these boots, man. 
I'm gonna die actually right here. I'm telling you, the early game is the hardest in Vigante right now, when you can't actually effectively dodge like anything. Uh oh. Just get out of here. Probably should not have even gone back for what amounted to basically no loot. I have one HP. That's okay, though. We'll, uh... We'll get our, uh... Our HP back. Just don't take any damage from now on. Lower lightning resistance. No thank you. Featherfall. Well, it's something. Magic missile is excellent. And let's get rid of these boots. As good as the fire resistance is, they are very annoying to wear. Okay. Should really just be using Eloquence more. Since it's free. But it is also... It's not really that much damage. And you would like more damage. I don't even know why I'm using it here, just... If ever you're in line with an enemy, I don't have the rod skills, just pop an eloquence, it's infinite use. It's kind of the whole point of it. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Flame pillar. I will, I will bring in... Oh god, I didn't even see him! Poison is lethal, so in theory we could already be dead. No, we're not. It's very close, though. Just be careful. If we die, we'll just start with another one, of course, but hopefully that doesn't happen. No. It really does take a long time to charge this with every hit. Oh, Lord. Defense, compassionate, familiar speed. I kind of want to restart now just because we are so poor off, but... We might not even have a choice in the matter. Hello. Sorry for drawing the worm into your shop. Could you not? This is just a bad place to fight him. All right, start up another one. Maybe don't take like f 59 damage on the first floor. <laughs> Do it again, do it again, do it again. I liked, um, I like starting with additional, uh, spell power. Well, starting level on books. But it's something that's not gonna have an immediate effect. That's more of a long-term effect, by getting that free first level of all of your spells. Well, other than eloquence. Yeah. It would be cool if you could, you know, just start with a better eloquence. Uh, the heirloom for the mage does uh, does let you start with a crit on eloquence, I think? Like, you get a free ring. That doesn't seem as worthwhile as, like, the, um... Nice! That doesn't seem as worthwhile as, like, the, uh, plus... start with a magical sastus. If only the, like, stunning was a little bit more consistent. <laughs> I think it's also, it also, like, increases the eloquence range, I suppose. Which is a weird one. But you can also do that just by upgrading eloquence, I suppose. Uh, we've done everything up there. Scrolls. This is Goblin King. I can see him moving around. Are we particularly effective against Goblin King? I guess we do have a, a free spell we should be using. Look at that. Well, let's go fight Goblin King. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be harder or easier than uh, the other bosses. I mean, Worm Boss is the easiest. Dying to Worm Boss is a little bit of uh, just an embarrassment. Okay. 
Not good. There's, uh, there's too many enemies here to fight. Boss, stop bouncing me around, you jerk. Just loves bouncing me around with every single jump. I think I'm just gonna die again, actually. Fighting, fighting the elite and the boss is just stupid, but... I had no choice in the matter as far as I can, can tell. I'm down to three HP. Hey, it's not one. I feel like that's just bad luck. <laughs> we we just we need a start, you know. We just need items. We need equipment. We need anything. We can't just kill your basic starting boss with your garbage equipment. You said I don't want to. Really, do not want you to drop the loot bag. gonna do hard mode random uh, if I win a, if I win a run we might be done with the uh, Vagante hard mode run or we could do random if I lose the run well we could still play with the knight I guess of eloquence slow aura okay well at least we have slightly better spell and a slow aura hat which is something we have something I mean, there's a reason why I actually really like the Wildling starting with a Seistus, because the early game is the hardest. You know, I suppose that's the value of starting with that ring, with the uh, with the mage, because if you get a ring that just makes your eloquence a little bit better for, in the early game, even if you uh, dump it later, you do get a sizable bonus early. And that is, ooh, lightning outside. That is what I was thinking about with the Seistus anyways. You know, even if you find a better weapon, you've got it early, and that's kind of what happened uh, on our, our good run. Okay, we need to find water. Wish I could move the map. I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can. Oh, what the heck? Apparently, pressing the right stick in enables a debug mode. That's weird. That's unexpected. Hello. Well, there's actually not that much water around, it seems. Not enough for me to feel comfortable fighting this guy, because I'm, I'm kind of learning what I like against him. I don't see any water under him either. Was there any water on like an upper level? Dude, fighting this guy up close is gonna be annoying if we have to do that. No, there's no water in the entire level. That is, uh, that is unfortunate. Well, got a book of dash. <laughs> We got eloquence, which is not amazing. Maybe there's water down here. Nope. And he's guarding the shop too. Oh my god. Okay, let's pull him over here. Even though we haven't killed any of these enemies now. Ah, uh, one's gonna come back. Just jump, yeah, just jump into every single fireball. Yeah, that seems like a fantastic idea. Oh my god, I hate this guy. His patterns are just way harder to deal with. I'm dead. up with the freaking mage here I'm gonna give it one more try this was kind of what I was worried about I suppose with the mage is I was worried about it being exceptionally difficult because at least the other characters can do damage and <laughs> they have like options 
But also, I feel like I am getting pretty poor luck. Like, there was no water on the entire level. When we had the uh, Goblin King and fought the Elite at the same time, I think that's also a little BS. Over there. There's not. But that's okay. Those runs were just not meant to be. To be. Well, unfortunately, I have gained the aggro of the elite for the floor. Maybe I can actually pull him over here. Oh! You freaking jerk! Come down here. Come down here. There we go. That wasn't... Got hit once. That's not too bad. We got a lot of potions. Which we uh, hope we can take advantage of later. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, just fall down and take like 20 damage for no reason. Because I... My head hit a bat. Oh, God. Look a fireball. At least it's a good spell. This guy puts up body blockers, though, so I don't know if we can actually do the damage fast enough to him. Well, I guess I'll just smack you a few times. Would like... Wow, he did not fall into the spikes. Would like to... Buy some cheap stuff in the shop. Potion of Regen or Identify. I mean, they're both good. Potion of Regen is definitely better, though, since we are going are going to identify the potions anyways. I like this setup, because in theory, he can jump up here. That's some pretty good fireball damage. And he's dead! Hey, all it takes is some fireballs. Fireball! And hey, I only took 30 da 29 damage on the floor even. Would you look at that? Everything's coming up, Millhouse. All right, we gotta get the loot, buy the potion of region, and then get the heck out of here. Where's the shop? One more level up, as is the chest. Ruined dagger. Minus one intelligence, but good stats. So we can, uh, we can equip that after we rest at the fire and then have something that's, you know, halfway decent. Oh, dude, can I buy both? One coin! One coin away! Disappointed! If I had one more coin, we could upgrade the shop one more time. As is, I'm still pretty happy with how that turned out. Get out! Look at him trying to stab me through the door. Okay, we actually have loot. I'm gonna go alchemy since we have so many potions. Increases your luck. Well... I'm not gonna do the multiple times, or... I'm just gonna drink the potions now, I think. What do we have? That's garbage. But this is good. Potion of poison. Potion of dexterity. Potions of regen. Better than the magic rod if we're not going to be using it. I, I, 
Like, what would you take? Enchant? Rod? I guess the reason why you go Rod is because the Spacer Rod and the Wave Rod are actually pretty decent. If you enchant it, you can get a, a decent amount of damage into the Rod. It scales off of intelligence, not strength. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It does take all 12 skill points to get that and alchemy to level 4. The only thing you get out of alchemy level 4 is just a few more stats, which are good because the resistances are very important. Cold resist, poison resist, fire resist. Can we afford to just wait a little bit on rods? Can we afford to wait a little bit on the potions? What's the most important thing? Probably a few levels of rod and then alchemy, but uh, it, it is tempting to just go full alchemy so you get the maximum value of the potions. You're gonna have to live for a few difficult floors though. And that's where I worry. So in theory, maybe you go rod. You could also go enchant. Give yourself like lightning damage, I guess, on your rod, which is actually pretty good if you're gonna be using it. Fire damage, whatever. Elemental enchants. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a tough call. Because if you get a lot of good stats early, a lot of resists, all of a sudden those late game enemies can't smack you down with their spells and freezing and whatnot. But it, the first boss is cold based. The, the second rune boss is fire and poison based. But if you have good spells, you don't need to worry about those anyways. I think I'm going to go rod. We'll go rod and enchant and work on those. Well, after the first level, of course, so luck, poison resistance, dexterity, drink those, and, uh... Get that rune dagger. Actually, let's even, uh, let's not... Eh, let's poison it, too. Just to make it a little bit easier for a floor, you know? Man, I were oh, I saw him too. I just didn't jump fast enough. We even have crits in the double digits. Oh my. Luminous ring is exceptionally. Need to go back to the shop, because I think that left side is going to be the dead end. The right side here does look way more interesting. Oh, it's Worm Boss! Let's go! Let's go! Uh oh. That was a respawn. Let's see what you have. Trailblazer, Intelligence, Defense, Burning Dagger, Freezing Aura, Hat. It's actually pretty good, but a little expensive right now. I mean, I, I want it. <laughs> it's another potion of poison, which is actually not that bad. Um, so let's, uh, let's get up there and fight this boss. Really? Considering he is, uh, Hopefully not that bad. I'm just gonna wait here for him to come back up, I think. Well, no. Unfortunately. Uh oh. That's gonna take a while. It might take too long. The Book of Eloquence. Is that level three? Level two. Right, because we got Fireball this time. And I would like... other spells, but, you know, another level of something that you're already using is pretty okay. You, I need, you, need to activate you. Thank you. In theory, we can pop him in the back. Ow. 
Ow. Coming over here? No? Okay, what are you doing? Not quite good enough. We can inflict a lot of, like, AOE status effects, elemental damage. Which is quite nice. You should pop up right here again. He's dead. Not bad at all. Grab our fairy. And start considering getting the heck out of here. Make sure we are going out the right door and not spending our key there because we gotta go get the rune. Hate losing out on you no know, items in a floor, but that's you know part of the challenge and part of what we're doing. You stay there. Let's see what else this floor has to offer. So far it's a whole lot of nothing. Unfortunately, we didn't fight easy boss. We fought a, uh, fought the hard boss. The uh, Goblin King is pretty tough. Bring up Zygox. That is health bars, right? Dude, plus two cold resist is actually not bad. Before we go to the level with the highly annoying cold based enemies. Yeah, I mean, I can. Oh, I can get behind that. Please go through the door. Thank you. That's not too bad. Plus one cold resist. We are almost cold immune, which is absurd. Absurd. This. Potion of region, potion of poison. Still rolling this. Uh, I mean, the rune dagger is. It's actually pretty good with the DOT from burning and poison. If we put electricity on this and then we use this as our primary weapon, it wouldn't be that bad. Magic Rod, still not going to be amazing. It's got a bit of an overhead swing to it, I guess. Spells are pretty mediocre, unfortunately, for the floor. This enchant. Oh, I gotta rest. Enchant, so we can enchant... How do we do this? One of our weapons. Bzz. It's not too bad. Bzz. I mean, infinite electricity application is pretty cool. Alright, let's, uh... Let's try it. I still don't think we got particularly lucky on the spells, but that's fine. I was kind of hoping that that was a... Oh, no! Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that was a uh, mapping scroll. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Magic Missile. Chain Lightning is pretty damn good, too. We got a lot of spells now. And they're all starting a level higher, too. Potion of Strength, just chug it. Oh no, you just, you perpetually freeze. I remember you. Well, let's deal with you, I suppose, before we move on. I ran into a trap, didn't I? Oh my god. No! I hate 
the freeze. Although we're not taking that much damage from it. We still get frozen constantly. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. All right. I mean, you're the... God damn it. You're the elite, so you've got to go. So imagine this with, like, reflect projectiles. Then you, you're you not getting hit by any of this nonsense. Blah. Shocking dexterity. It's better. Gloves, grab walls, intelligence. Might as well equip whatever we can. We got potions, featherfall poison. No! Don't you dare! Dare hit me. Nope. Refuse. Weird place for the chest to be. We've got very low HP. Uh, don't really want to activate the trap. There we go. Hold on. Ah. Couldn't quite shuffle through all my damn spells fast enough. We do have a lot of them. Do a lot of damage, though, which is nice. Just hope, hopefully we can use that to our advantage. Potion of luck. Good, very good, very good. Let's actually grab the uh, magic missile for these enemies, I think. What are you doing here? Oh, God. How did you even get in here? This door was locked from the outside, my friend. We should probably go for the luck. Not the lower luck, just the luck. Poison feather fall. Okay, let him go. Using a lot of magic missiles for this, which is unfortunate, but I think our other spells will be able to pick up the pace a little bit. Had a little. No, oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm gonna die though. I'm gonna die. I really thought that would teleport me. <laughs> okay, one more. We. Ugh. I couldn't quickly go to my inventory. Should have just healed earlier though. Give me one more. Give me one more. Try the heirloom ring. I hear it's good, but <sighs> better spells, dude. I, I gotta go for the better spells. I gotta trust my instinct on this one. I think that it's difficult because of the character, not because of taking a different starting perk. I think that the uh, the mage is just the weakest start, and I don't really know where to go for the build. Like I don't know if we should be focusing on the spells or the rod. I think we should be focusing on the spells, because they're going to be, you know, how we, no, we're going to, that's going to be how we do damage over the long run. Unbounded, coins heal, I can't buy it though without pissing off the shopkeep. But that's such a good one. Is there any way we can get 69 credits on one level? I'll freaking do it, man. Oh, God, I just... Thank you. I don't know how I'm not hitting you. Little wizard hats. Spirits. That's a pretty okay one. Freezing aura, intelligence, boulder protection, 
other stats. At least it's boulder protection, and you know, we like to see it. Excuse me, coming through. Like, what's the chance that I could kill him? Because both of those are pretty good. Spirits is pretty decent as well. Cast the spell. I don't think this was worth it. <laughs> I really don't. Because now I'm going to have to fight that guy every floor. And he's going to be pissed. Get rid of this. Unbounded Sight is pretty darn good. I don't know, I think... I, it, I don't know. The advantages might be worth the penalty. Penalty being that we gotta fight that guy all the time. Uh-oh. Don't activate the dragon. How did I heal? Oh, coin's heal, of course. <laughs> the whole reason we uh, stole that to begin with. I mean, it was ours all along. Probably don't want to fight the dragon there, if I had to guess. I mean, we kind of expected him to awaken at some point. There was no water up there, though. There was none here, so. We're once again in a... Uh, Dragon Zone. Well, this is certainly an interesting way of doing it. Fireball activated the trap. <laughs> no! No! Oh, we were running him around the blocks. Yeah, I don't know. Defeating the shopkeeper on every floor would certainly be exceptionally difficult. Uh, let me think. What what is the ring? Let me start with it. I think I just don't like the mage. <laughs> Plus three at intelligence. Oh, and then it, it also it does some, something else to eloquence. I don't know what it does though. It's like a chance of it being a longer cast. I'll admit that the plus three intelligence is actually pretty nice. I didn't realize it would give you that. Thank you. We gotta keep our strength and dexterity too. Oh boy! I still think spell starting level is better. But, we'll give it a shot here with the heirloom. Maybe try to make the beginning of the game a little bit easier. Spike protection minus two vitality. Probably not worth it, but maybe later. Spirit emitter Sastus really does, does depend if I'm going to actually be using the rod right now. Probably no. Uh oh! No! No, 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 no! Thank you. Reflect projectile ring. I hate going to the shop early, because you see all the good things that you can't afford. I do see a exceptionally easy dragon fight. There we go. That's what we're looking for out of a dragon fight.
better than what we had. Okay. But again, like, that didn't have anything to do with the heirloom. <laughs> that had everything to do with the fact that we finally spawned water with the dragon. Imagine that. His only weakness! A small pool of liquid water! Well, I don't know what direction the correct direction is. Let's go down here. Is this the exit? No, just magic missile. Great book. Still have 27 charges, but I guess that's because we start with more intelligence, which maybe makes the um, minus one spellbook starting level thing break even. Yeah, sure, you get less levels, but technically your spells are going to be a little bit better. Only a little bit, but a little bit is still a, a lot where, it, where damage is concerned. Well, we want the rat, so... We do want the rat, but we also want this guy to fry. The gold. Okay. You know, that didn't go too badly. We'll be just under full health. We good? We good. Still think I'm gonna go for the uh, potions. I just like being able to know what they are. Potion of quickness. Potion of lower strength. Then we can save all of our, ooh, what the heck? We can save all of our other can save all of our other scrolls of identification for anything that might be a little bit more important or a little bit more risky, like the scrolls, then we know what they are. Dump this. We'll keep this on hand in case we want to re-roll them. Spike protection is actually pretty good later, even though it is minus two vitality, but it's pretty good starting. Oh my god, our strength is so bad. Pretty good starting armor early. Dark Cavern 2, it's damp in here. You always want to see this with the, the dragon, but a little bit of water never hurt anybody. 45, spike protection. If I can get 52, I might buy that just to start increasing his shop size, but uh, Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I've decided. I don't know if I can actually kill that enemy. There's the water. I can already see it starting to flood in. Clunk. There's nothing in that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. More magic missile. Actually pretty good. You have a decent number of casts of it. And it's gonna be pretty decent damage. I mean six per magic missile hit is actually like pretty good. Well, something spawned you. Come on, let's do this. There's a uh, bunch of stuff here I didn't grab, including a fire wand. Uh, don't be on this side. Be over here. Dun, 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 dun. One more iteration. Perfect. And you're dead. There's the exit up there. We'll grab our fairy and whatever loot we can. And money. Money's the big one. We need cash. Not enough cash. 
If ever I can kill a boss without using spells, we should just immediately transition into using spells for everything else. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I'll save you. Don't open that. Did we, uh... See the shop we did, and I don't think I'm gonna go back up there for that. It's a little, uh... A little far away. We've got a ring. We're gonna check this when we leave, though, because I want to get the heck out of Dodge. We're gonna be at full health leaving. But again, I, I don't think that's... I don't think that has anything to do with the... With the heirloom, I think that just has everything to do with the generation of the game at this point. Go through the door, thank you. That was very good. And we cooked up a chicken. Bonk. So, maybe no more alchemy. Do we want enchant? Do we want rod? Do we want spellcaster? Spellcaster doesn't actually give you more spell casts, ironically enough. Intelligence does. Spell charge limit increased, which is exceptionally great, but people say that enchant and rod is actually high quality. I guess if you can get a better rod and it's just like a freebie attack you can put out there, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go enchant again. Yen, yeah, we've got all those magic missiles. Let's go enchant, rod, intelligence. Although it is very tempting to just max out intelligence with a magic missile. Luminous ring. Lightning resist gloves. Bad spike protection, but it is spike protection. We do have a fire wand and we've got a chicken. Well, it is something. Two potions of quickness. All right. We're going to be leaning on magic missile pretty heavily here, I think. Just, uh... What is this? Evil transformation. Just to stop enemies from constantly spamming their garbage. Close enough. There's a scroll in that chest as well. This guy on his own is not that bad. Oh, and now you're actually screwed. Morning Star. Corrupted Fairy Magic. Maybe we should have identified it. <laughs> well, it's speed encoded with poison at least. There's something. More magic missiles, actually pretty good. What I like about it is that it's got a severe overhead swing. We can just hit enemies with it. Blunt force trauma. No spells required. I don't really want to go for magic boy right now, but that might come back and bite me in the butt. Yeah, having a, uh, having just like a mace. It's pretty handy. Oh, damn it. I didn't even cast it either because I got interrupted because I was burning. Well, try to heal as much as we can. Oh, you're gonna freaking cast that, boy. I think he jumped down though. Oh my god. I do not like that. 
We're gonna have to do another loop in the level, I think. Oh, I, th I think he teleported back to me. I think that's what happened. Should really be smacking him. We do have that heal. Alright, let's, uh... Let's reverse. I think we can kill the boss with 28 magic missiles. God. We do a decent amount of damage. Clonk. You know what? No reason to waste a magic missile if you don't have to. Stop that. They summon one dog and like you take more damage on the dog than anything else because they're just freaking annoying. Okay. Let's do it. We live or die here, friend. Eat the chicken. Magic missile. Oh Christ. Just wait for it. Oh my god. You can't you can't hit him. <laughs> you hit this bastard. <coughs> That's gonna freeze me too. It hit him when he stops moving his hands. He just never stops moving his damn hands. <laughs> Dude, I hate the mage. I, I don't know how to. I, well, I mean, this guy's hard too, and I don't know how to fight him, but the mage. Mage sucks. I don't know. Not a big fan of the character. Very difficult to, to play around with and just starts off exceptionally weak, I think. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a random run or a wildly wildling run next time. But for now, hey, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Agante.